I'm here with Janelle and we are on our way to the Reeve Bed and Breakfast in Dunville. Got an awesome little girls weekend ahead of us. Got a ton of fun activities. We're gonna check out some cool little restaurants. We're gonna listen to NSYNC. So, <laughs> of course. Um, got our coffees ready to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, got a lot to show you. So, we made it to Dunville and we just finished our first stop of the day. It was the Baines Road Cider Company. Got Janelle. We've got some cider. I grabbed some of their apple cider, their Lionheart apple cider. It is delicious. Uh, we also tried their cherry cider. They have a pear cider. They have a pumpkin liquor. So it's like a pumpkin wine, which is amazing for the fall, for Thanksgiving. You've got to go pick some up. Yeah, we had a really good, great first visit and we got to meet some baby peacocks and, and ducks. baby turkeys and there are ducks. Look at these guys. They, don't want to, why don't they don't want to hang with us, but ducks it's never cool. want to be my friend. But... Janelle scares ducks. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go explore more of Dunville, and we've got a ton more fun activities to do and restaurants to check out. This is the biggest catfish I've ever seen in my life. Look at this thing. Whew. It's a big boy. We just made it to the place that we're gonna be staying for the next couple of days. It's the Reeve Bed and Breakfast in Dunville. Uh, it's super cute. I can't wait to check it out inside because it looks beautiful on the outside. Give you a quick look at the garden and the outdoor area. It's really lovely. So we have just checked into the Reeve Bed and Breakfast in Dunville and we are staying in the Isabella Suite. Uh, it's a two bedroom suite and it is so stunning. Um, obviously Janelle is already getting into the candy Your basket. Snacks. Check this out. We Got have this like amazing candy basket from Sweet Retrospect, which is one of the shops downtown. Coconut patties. Janelle's like right in there. Got our itinerary all planned out. The really nice thing is they actually have Apple TV and Netflix on here. So you can kind of have a nice little girls night in if you want to get away for a weekend, crash with your bestie and watch some movies and eat some yeah. treats. So the bedrooms are nice and bright and airy and just really pretty. The best part of this space has to be this beautiful outdoor patio. I can't get over how gorgeous this is. A nice little rooftop area. You can sit here. I can guarantee we're going to be sitting out here tonight. Getting ready for a Reiki session up on the rooftop. Never done this before, so we're not really sure what to expect, but going in with an open mind yep. and we'll see how this goes. Good morning, everyone. We just started day two in Dunville, just got up and got ready, and we're about to head downstairs for breakfast. Last night was a super chill night. We just kind of had a nice girls' night in. Uh, we had that Reiki session, and we did some little, like, I guess, tarot cards and that kind of thing. It was just kind of neat to kind of, I guess we balanced our energy. Um, first time I've ever done that, so it was definitely something different for me. Um, and then we just kind of hung out, had Netflix, and candy night, we ate a lot of snacks. We had some sweet treats from Sweet Retrospect, and they were delicious. We probably ate too much. But anyways, as, as I was saying, we are gonna head down for breakfast now. Um, I'm gonna see what they're cooking up. The food is supposed to be really good here. And then we've got a bunch of other stuff going on today, so I will make sure we bring you along.
just arrived at Windecker Woods. Uh, we're here to do the Purple Haven Lavender Experience. So basically we're going to be making some lavender toiletries, uh, learning a bit more about lavender and what it does, and then we're going to come back out here to the flower farm. And we're going to talk a bit about flowers and actually I believe we're putting together our own uh, little floral arrangement. So we just finished making our lavender soaps and bath salts and now we're coming up to the flower garden. We're going to learn all about all these beautiful flowers they have here and how to make the perfect floral arrangement. It's time to pick our flowers to make our arrangement. Just walking through and we can pretty much pick whatever we want to use. I'm going to stick with pinks and uh, purple shades for my bouquet. just finished so making our bouquet so we went through the garden here and picked all of these flowers and put together our own bouquet also picked a few more to bring home the sunflowers are so pretty and they don't really fit in with my color scheme here but I'm so excited about how it turned out it's beautiful Good morning everyone! We just woke up on day three of our trip to Dunville. Uh, we're actually headed off to Knoll's Diner. It's a 50s style diner in Dunville. Uh, apparently there was a Stephen King miniseries filmed here with James Franco uh, because it's like totally set in the 50s and it's very legit. Uh, so we're gonna go have some breakfast and then check out a couple of the little shops in town and uh, see what else Dunville has to offer before we head out today. We're at Noel Steiner now, time for breakfast. Uh, it's just gonna be straight up classic breakfast, which is exactly what I need right now. Um, you can see this place is straight out of the 50s. We just sadly had to check out of the Reef Bed and Breakfast and it's time to head home. Uh, we had an incredible time here, had a lot of fun, uh, just ate some really good food. Lisa and Luke at the Reef are incredible. They are so friendly and accommodating and helpful and we'll definitely come back and check this place out again. Anyways, thank you so much for watching our Dunville journey. Hopefully you guys have some fun trips planned ahead of you. If you're traveling anywhere in the Ontario area, please let me know and uh, love to hear more about it. I'm always looking for more spots to check out. Anyways, until next time, thank you for watching.